Welcome to the Iconic Talk Show in conversation with Juhi Castia, a professional home baker. Welcome Juhi at the Iconic Talk Show. Thank you. Thank you so much Nirali for having me here. It's an absolute pleasure. So let's start off with understanding your journey. What has been your journey as a home baker? So my journey as a home baker, it's been uh, wonderful. It's been very fruitful. It's been uh, two years that I've uh, started under my brand name Juhi Castia. And uh, I'm into this food industry where I do a lot of uh, stuffed breads and uh, they're all eggless. Right. They're all uh, gen friendly. And um, uh, so there are different kinds of breads. Right. Plus I also do other uh, cuisines like Mexican, uh, some Indian snacks, then Italian, uh, like that. So yeah. Jui Castia is actually my brand name uh, for right. my handmade products. So for, from last seven years, right. I was into um, handmade products okay. where I used to make, uh, you know, like photo albums, uh, then decorative bottles, name plates, and a complete range of uh, cement products, wow. like from home, okay. uh, which included like coasters, then uh, platters, a lot of Diwali stuff, like tea lights. Uh, Innovative gifting ideas. Yeah. So I'm basically creative by nature so i really wanted nice. to do something uh, you know creative right uh, whatever i can so i used to put up exhibitions so juhi cast is basically my brand name for that lovely and uh, two years back i shifted my residence okay so there along with uh, my craft i just wanted to give uh, the this food passion also a shot so there were a lot of food groups in our uh, society. Right. So I joined them. And uh, so there you just need to put up your dish dishes picture. Right. You need to, uh, you know, put some details about your uh, dish. And you can, you can post it a day prior and take uh, orders. Such a convenient way of marketing your product. Yes. And a very, um, you know, like you can work from home. Absolutely. So it was a wonderful thing. Comfort zone. Comfort zone. At your own comfort zone. So, because I had a little stra uh, space con uh, constraint right. uh, to do my craft work here, so I, I thought I'll just give this also a try because yeah. during uh, lockdown, yeah. I had, uh, you know, I think everyone had uh, made a lot of varieties and exp uh, like explored a lot of uh, this area also in the kitchen. The food industry. The food industry, yeah. Right. So, I had made a lot of uh, food items and I tried to make, so... I was really confident about, confident about my stuffed breads. Right. So I thought, uh, you know, I'll go ahead in this field. True. So, but uh, I did um, add a lot of other stuff also with, in my menu. Right. But my speciality or my USP is my stuffed breads. Right. That's lovely. lovely. Mm -hmm. So in COVID, when you started this venture, mm -hmm. what were the challenges you faced? Uh, I didn't start in COVID. Okay. It was just that during COVID, we had so much of time, so obviously I was, uh, you know, I was just trying a lot of recipes. Right. And they were coming out really nice. I, right. I love cooking, yeah. but uh, I never, uh, you know, thought of a career in that uh, area. True. Because I just wanted, like I was already doing my home decor stuff. Right. So, but because of COVID, obviously that wasn't, uh, you know, it in was, your mind. Yeah, I wasn't putting up any exhibitions or anything, so we were at home. Right. So we, I was trying uh, different, you know, recipes. True. So when I came here, that was after COVID. It okay. was I started in twenty twenty one. Right. So when I shifted to my new place, so then I just thought that I should give this a shot. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So that's how I uh, started uh, uh, this food uh, industry uh, business. Lovely. What was the first thought came into your mind to convert from your packaging industry, your gifting industry and coming mm -hmm. to the food industry? So, see, um, I didn't want to, you know, go only with the food industry. Right. I was doing both the things simultaneously. Right. I was taking orders for my craft work also. Right. And I was taking orders for food also. Right. But the, both the things, they require a lot of time. True. They're very time hands on crafted. Yes. Because handmade products also, they need, you know, a good amount. You have to give complete time to that also. True. So then it was very difficult to manage uh, for me. Right. So because if I have to make a photo album, I need 15 days. Wow. Okay. okay. So if I'm investing my 15 days in one thing. Right. So then I cannot do my food business. 
And obviously, if you have clients in one field, you cannot say no to them. True. Right. So if I'm getting any order, I cannot say no. Absolutely. Them. So then, obviously, I had to switch uh, to one thing. Right. And anyways, I, uh, as I said, like even cement work, they, it, it requires a lot of space. Right. Which I didn't have here yeah. in my new uh, space. Right. So I thought that let's go on with this idea of uh, entering into the food industry. And it, I'm, I'm very happy that I chose this uh, field. Right. And uh, it's been an amazing journey so far. Amazing. That's, yes. great. That's great. What a wonderful journey you have yeah. coming from the gifting and the packaging industry all the way to the bakery and the food industry. Yeah. Lovely. What are the uh, arrays of breads you um, bake? Okay, so as I told you, all my breads are eggless. Right. And uh, it's, I have a complete vegetarian kitchen. Right. That's and, a USP. Yes, absolutely. Lovely. And uh, <clears throat> So along with breads, right. I have Mexican, I have Indian, I have Italian and uh, the main speciality is my stuffed breads. Okay. And as you know, I'm a creative uh, person. True. So all my breads are not regular loaves that you get in the market. Right. They're very, very different. You won't even get in restaurants. Okay. Okay. So it's like in shape of a sunflower. Wow. Then uh, a braided bread. Right. And all of them are stuffed. Wow. Even I have, uh, I have sweet breads. I have savory right. as well. Right. So there are a lot of flavors that I uh, offer in sweet breads also, like cinnamon, Nutella, Nutella dark chocolate, chocolate. Uh, sorry, coffee. You know. So there are a lot of flavors. An array pistachio. of different flavors. Yes, yes, different flavors, right. which I offer in different shapes. Wow. Okay. Innovative. So there are a lot of pull apart breads. Wow. Then there are knots, which are like cupcake sized knots. Lovely. And uh, like dinner rolls, but uh, not dinner it? rolls. So they are, uh, they're like knots. You know, okay. the shape is like a knot. Oh, okay. But the size is of a cupcake. Okay. So it's it's good for individual single uh, portion. Yeah, single yeah. portion. Lovely. Then there are babkas, which wow. are like wreath shaped uh, shaped breads. Right. Okay. And then they have they have a filling, either sweet, savory, whatever. Lovely. It can be a pesto. It can be a cinnamon. Uh, like that. Lovely. Then I have uh, savory breads, which are like my best seller. Seller is uh, spinach bell pepper ricotta sunflower, wow. in which it's in shape of a sunflower. Amazing. Okay. And each petal, so they have I have two flavors in it, right. which I put together in one bread only. Oh, so okay. half of the bread is with spinach and ricotta filling, and half is with bell pepper and ricotta. And ricotta is also homemade. Right. So there is no preservative, nothing. Such an innovative concept yeah. of baking. <laughs> so you get two flavors in one dish. And right. it's, it's quite a big, uh, you know, it's a, it's a big portion. Right. So even five, six people can have. So right. you get two flavors in one uh, particular dish. Then what is, I have, you give some uh, sauce along with um, yes, yes. the so, sunflower yeah. so stuff, this, right? It has a, uh, yeah, so every bread has a different accompaniment. Okay. So with this, I serve a dip right. a, a spicy dip with this because the bread is very you know mild in flavor but uh, i think people just love this uh, they, that's my best seller i personally have had that bread of yours <laughs> yeah. i think i've ordered that in fact and it's something which i definitely recommend to every single you know mm -hmm. friend of mine to order that bread Thank and so it's so much. versatile what you're making because you can actually use it in like house parties. It yes, can be yes. as an office party. Yes. CEOs might have guests coming from out, see, uh, uh, you know, uh, outside India and they can also use it yeah. in their offices. In fact, it's such a nice uh, item to just put on the table yeah, and think, serve as an appetizer yeah. to add up the element of an mm -hmm. innovative concept which is being served as an appetizer mm -hmm. in any home party. Yeah, yeah. yeah so... That's the thing, like uh, the main USP of my breads is again the presentation also. Absolutely. Because uh, I think they look quite fancy, so people call it for parties. Right. And uh, obviously the taste matters. True. So I think they like the taste also. <laughs> Absolutely. And it's filling also. It's, it's quite filling because True. ricotta is quite heavy. Right. Yeah. And it's homemade, so I think that's the best thing. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. What more can someone ask for? Yeah, A homemade definitely. bread which actually tastes... Gourmet mm -hmm. and looks also gourmet. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And your packaging also is very, very eco-friendly, Julie. Yeah. yeah. So I um, I try to give all my uh, breads in a eco-friendly uh, like package uh, packets only. 
so they're all uh, corrugated papers then uh, i have uh, different honeycomb uh, sheets also wow. in which i pack my braided breads then obviously there are some stuff which we cannot use uh, a paper container for right so for only for those things or for dips i use uh, the plastic uh, uh, containers right otherwise mostly it's all uh, paper based packaging Lovely, lovely. Yeah. That's such a nice way of packing your products because you're even you know giving back to society by being sustainable in your packaging. Yes, yes. I also give a ten percent discount if uh, people get their own containers. Oh wow! Yeah, That's such an innovative yeah, way so of that promoting. They do, because obviously, if someone wants five portions or something, right. I'm giving them five containers and they'll immediately throw them. Right. So that's of no point. True. So I ask them if they can get their own containers. So I can give it to them, and then I give a ten percent discount. That's an amazing way of you know promoting sustainability. Yes, and you know mm-hmm. giving back your work to the nature and to mm-hmm. green economy. Yeah. That's amazing. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Can you share a challenging experience in your journey as a baker? Ah uh, yes, definitely. So that happened last August. Okay. It was uh, Rakhi time, okay. and I was leaving for my hometown town on. the day of rakhi so right. i couldn't take orders on that particular day True. so i told my clients i'll be taking uh, orders like i i'll be delivering them a day prior True. and my breads they have a good shelf life right so they all agreed upon that uh, so i completed all the orders right. but by evening one of the uh, dish which was common in all the orders that got spoiled okay yeah and uh, Then I didn't have time because I had to attend a family get together also. Right. Because it was Rakhi time, so which uh, I had to go. I came home by eleven o'clock in the night. At the in night. Yeah. And then I started from scratch, from making the dough, the filling, the complements, everything, and I finished everything by two thirty. Okay. And I had to leave home by three to catch a flight for five o'clock. So that was. very challenging but luckily all my clients are like i of course i called them that i couldn't be uh, like i won't right. be able to deliver them today evening right. but i'll be yeah we i'll be fast them tomorrow morning but this is what has happened and uh, i'm so grateful and lucky to have such good and cli- uh, kind clients understanding clients very very understanding absolutely they all agreed and they all said ki okay you can go ahead and they and anyways wanted next day only so that was not a problem for them yeah. but uh, still you need to be very understanding for that and uh, really uh, grateful to have such amazing clients absolutely yeah but uh, this is so nice of the clients actually to you know accept the fact yeah. during a festival season that juice is going to be delivering the product mm-hmm. late but even your scope of you know doing it mm-hmm. at that hour in the night is incredible yeah yeah so obviously i had to if i have committed Given someone to- I have to finish it. Sure, sure, absolutely. Yeah, yeah that's customer service, actually. Absolutely. And we value our customers, so we are going to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yes. True. <laughs> What is your proudest achievement in the kitchen, Julie? Ah, uh, so see, I think a proud, the proudest achievement for anyone is the support and uh, love appreciation that they get from their family. Wow. So my husband, my kids, right? They are extremely supportive. Yeah. That is my biggest achievement that I am. able to pursue my career true and then obviously the love and uh, you know the adulation that i am receiving from my clients right that is unbelievable like i it, it is so satisfying uh, to get uh, you know this kind of love uh, from them so there are a lot of clients they send uh, videos and pictures of their kids that wow. are enjoying the dish then they'll get they'll send me videos that uh, mama please order this more i really loved it <laughs> such so it was such a moment a for you sweet, yes yes such yeah. a sweet gesture from the right. kids as well so i think uh, kids really love this because it's a very you know like pav bhaji so i have a bread um, even that is in shape of a flower only wow and uh, it's a pav bhaji fondue that i wow. call it okay so the pav and the bhaji is in the petals Okay. And the fondue is served separately. So right. You have to pull out each petal. You can okay. dip it into the fondue and have. So it is so fascinating for the kids, you know, to have yeah. pav bhaji in such a different way. True, innovative. Because innovative, innovative. yeah, absolutely. So for them, pav bhaji is a very regular food for True. all yeah. of us. But uh, when you get a dish which is in a very uh, you know different 
shape and form. Right. So obviously it's appealing to the eyes and kids really love it. Right. And it is not very spicy that kids can't have. So True. there are a lot of people, uh, you know, expats who obviously they don't have a very uh, right. good spice uh, tolerance yes. level. So even um, they have loved it. You know, Amazing. So, yeah. So they say, you may need please uh, uh, keep the spice level low. So I said, yeah. just try whatever it is. Right. It is not very spicy and I'm sure that they like it. And right. they, they really like it. Lovely. So, uh, so this kind of love and uh, the faith that people have, you know, True. they just taste like a lot of clients. They just taste one dish in a party, right. and then they immediately order for their party. Wow! So having faith that yes, I we think that yeah, all the other dishes will be of the same quality and taste. Lovely. So I think this faith and love is. Uh, my biggest achievement. Amazing, mm-hmm. amazing. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. What more can we ask for? Gratitude. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, gratitude True. to them. Mm-hmm. What are the kind of events you cater to? All of them. So, see, like if it's uh, Valentine's Day, right? Uh, I can make a bed or a focaccia and heart shape. Oh, wow. Then uh, for Christmas, we did Christmas tree breads. So, Lovely. they were all in the shape of Christmas tree. And whichever filling, like, you know, whichever stuffing they like, whether they wanted it sweet or savory. Right. So we cater like that. Right. For Rakhi, we can give hampers. Oh, wow. So uh, okay. any any occasion. Right. So yeah. Diwali, this Diwali, what is something special you're doing and curating for the industry and for your clients? So see, the, for Diwali, people need different kinds of, right, you know, they need something in sweet also. So we can give hampers right. in which I can give them knots or uh, even my pull-out loaves are very popular. So because they cater to, because obviously it's party time. Right. So... It, and they cater to five to six people minimum, you know. Right. So people call for loaves. Then uh, like it's kind of a hamper thing. We can call for a Spanish ricotta. Right. Uh, stuff like that. Lovely. And then we can uh, definitely customize if they want it in any shape or uh, something. So that's customizable. When a client contact contacts you to place an order, can you deliver in a twenty four hours? Yes. Yes. So definitely. So most mostly, I take my orders a day prior. Right. Because it's easier to, you know, Customize manage everything. It. Yeah. Right. Even to get uh, procurement of the, uh, you know, ingredients, ingredients and everything. Right. That's a little easy. And breads, it's a very lengthy process actually. Right. So even I have to make one dish, I need at least four to five hours. Okay. So if... But it's time consuming. Yeah, it's time consuming because right. I'm, I'm working from home. Right. Right. So obviously, uh, I don't have that kind of machinery that uh, I can, you know, cater Lion. to people immediately. Right. So uh, when you're working from home, obviously you have some uh, constraints. But uh, yeah, if you place the order even in the morning, right, it can be done for evening. But lo- there are a lot of uh, times when we I can uh, deliver to them within five to six hours also. Lovely. That's like for lunch we can do that. So, but uh, I prefer that uh, people order a day prior. So it's right. more, yeah, it's That's better. Amazing. Yeah. Lovely. Can you describe when you put together a special bakery order for a customer? Uh, yes. So there was this client. Right. She had ordered um, a complete meal for their Guruji. Okay. Yeah. So uh, he's a uh, Guru Sh- Gurudev Shri uh, Rakesh Ji. Okay. Okay. So he is the founder of uh, Srimad Rajchandra Mission yes. in Dharampur. Right. If you're aware. Yes, I'm of course aware yeah. of him. He has, I think, an ardent uh, like fan following. Fan following. Oh, absolutely. So I have my own uh, family members who are, uh, you know, his ardent followers. So I know what kind of devotees he has. He's a right. he's a preacher of Jainism. True. And uh, so she wanted me to prepare a me for him and his family so wow. that was truly special for me as well amazing so yes. what was the meal like uh so uh, she had ordered for uh, the spanish ricotta wow yeah okay. that and um a, a pav bhaji fondue and a, a sweet also so lovely uh, prepared a meal for them and uh, so that was truly special for me amazing <laughs> yes. and what was the feedback you got from the feedback i uh so they don't say uh right. to them but I had his fans who were calling me. Oh, we heard that you had uh, served him, right. and uh, so they were feeling so happy that I got this chance to, you know, uh, to so, send them a meal. Right. Yeah. So then it became all the more special. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. That's nice. Such a nice story of serving Guruji, you yes. know, on this level, and you know, offering a meal to him. Yeah. 
and how many more so much blessings you must have received from this gesture <laughs> what is the message you would like to give today's youth today's youth today's uh, they are very smart i think they are very focused they know right. what they have to do right but i think um, they should pursue i think whatever they they feel like doing you know right. and they are doing it that way true whatever they are interested in their hobbies their likes their and they they know exactly what they want right you know so and they are pursuing their careers and that so definitely if you uh, if you have a liking for something right. you will definitely uh, you know reach high the new heights with like uh, in that profession absolutely so that's a wonderful thing that our youth is very focused and very very smart kids right. i agree then if i talk about our age people right. like the youngsters and the homemakers right i think everyone has some talent true everyone has some talent true. it's just kids. that we are not aware of it because we are so engrossed with our own routine and life right you know so i think um, whatever your hobby is we should give it a shot you know True. we should pursue it in however small manner also if it's possible right i'm also working from home my kids True. are small i know i cannot open up a big kitchen right. or take a new space or you know pursue more in this field right now right. but if i am in this field i can surely when my kids grow up i can uh, you know move ahead in this field right and make it big So I think everyone has some hobby, and Absolutely. they should keep doing something in that field, uh, no matter how big or small it is. Right. But they should, uh, you know, have it as a part of their life. Agree. And pursue their dreams. Right. This I completely well. agree. Yes. Passion is something so important. If you, you know, Absolutely. own your skills, mm -hmm. you upskill yourself at every point of time, and you mm -hmm. go with your passion. and your gut yeah. success is absolutely very new it will it will come your way true absolutely. if you if you if you like painting just make paintings and i think now social media is such a good platform where you can sell everything oh absolutely anyway, you don't need to go out of your house also. true true you absolutely don't need true. so even i was doing like i was really interested in making something you know handmade products right. so i so and when you start doing you definitely explore other you know other uh, arenas also right and you you can move into whichever direction is more feasible for you right so i think everyone should pursue their uh, hobbies absolutely yeah. absolutely i would like to leave you with this quote that you know from which i believe in personally that passion plus consistency equals to success definitely and today's Best. youth really are you know so structured so organized mm -hmm. and they all are working towards a passion but if consistency yeah and if call to action is taken at the right time yeah success is something which they are definitely going to achieve yeah definitely that's going to come that level right definitely. so sooner or later it will come absolutely absolutely yeah. thank you so much juhi for coming at the iconic talk show and My in conversation pleasure. with you it was a pleasure to have you on board thank you so thank much thank you so much for your valuable time with the iconic talk show thank you so much adari it was my pleasure to be here